In this video, we're going to look at how to um, delete uh, purchasing requisition. So, for example, when you create a reservation, right? You create a standing room reservation and you want to um, delete the purchasing requisition. So, when you create a, um, a standing room reservation and you save it, what happens is the moment the, the, the reservation number is created, your there's a purchasing requisition also created. So your purchasing requisition is where your reservation that you've created will be for 48 hours before S8 funds your um your orders. So basically it's going to be there. Some people call some people call it Z part, some people call it um ME alpha, ME5 alpha, yeah, ME5 alpha. So that's the place where, where anytime you Put on, we put something on order, your supply stuff get, gets there for 48 hours so so that X, S8 will fund it. Most of the time, S8 goes to your stuff, the stuff you put on order, they go through it and make sure everything is okay. Sometimes you might make mistake in the quantity. Maybe you, you want 100, you might type 1,000. So when they see some anomalies in it, they will call back your S4 and say, hey, can you contact um, your guy that this is correct? Does he really want 100 or he wants, um, does he really want 1,000 or he wants 100 or a 10? So that is how it works. So they will take that 48 hours to look through your stuff and see if there are any anomalies. So when there are any anomalies, they can either cancel it, delete it, or tell your S4 to tell you to delete it. But sometimes to... When you put something on order and you find out you've made a mistake, when you yourself find finds out you made a mistake, the moment it gets to Z pad or M M E five alpha, you can go to that list and delete it yourself before your S four or S eight will find out, right? Most of the time, when S eight finds out, your commander will hear about it. They hear about your mistake, the mistake you've made. If you don't want that trouble, you can delete it yourself. So let's get into it. Let's get into the video. I know I've talked so much about this. So that can be found under report. We go back, you type in ME5 alpha. And it will send us straight to this screen. So this screen, you know, this works just like um, viewing your reservation list. So you hit on the dynamic selection, you hit the drop button for position, position, then you look for storage location. Put in your provisional storage location, then execute. So now we want to delete the first one, right? So the first one, that's what we want to delete. So you go to, you double click on the purchasing requisition, then these streams come up. So this is where we're going to delete it. But before that, you see the display change, you have to click on it so that it will give you access to change it or edit it. So you can update the number right here, or you can also delete it. So just updating it, you just click on the quantity and change it. So now you click on the delete button right there, then yes. Now you can't just save it. So this is a different thing altogether. So you click on pack. Then you click OK. You click on the check mark. Now to find out whether it got deleted or not, now you can see we have the 80 still there, right? So now when you go back in, it's still the status is still deleted. It means it worked. So let's go back and find out if it actually got deleted or not. So let's go back. Let's get out of this screen.
So as you can see, the first one that we did is gone. Now we don't have the one with the quantity 80 anymore. We have only four items left. So these items were automatically ordered and I'm going to go ahead and delete all of them. So guys, this is all for today. Um, I'm going to I'll do an, a second video about how to consume PB01. It's going to be a short one because it's easy to do it consuming a PB01 order. Um, okay, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.